Minus 20 seconds. Minus 16. This is Atlas Mission Control at T-minus 10, 9, minus eight, 8, 7, seven 6, 5, five 4, four three, 3, 2, Atlas Engine one, Ignition, zero, 0, and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket carrying the Inmarsat 4F1 satellite for Inmarsat Limited of London, which will bring a new era of high-speed digital satellite communication services to customers throughout Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. Let's listen to Marty Malinowski as he provides launch vehicle ascent data from the ASOC Engineering Operations Center here at Cape Canaveral. Throttle back to 61% thrust. The vehicle is continuing its 110 degree roll to bring the solids to pitch point. Plus 35 seconds. Roll program is complete. Vehicle is accelerating smoothly at 1.2 Gs. RD-180 is burning well. We're approaching a period of maximum dynamic pressure. As we transition through the max Q, PU has gone to closed loop control and we throttle up to 64. T plus one thrust. minute. One minute five. SRB chamber pressures have rolled off and are stable. Next event is SRB burnout. Vehicle accelerating smoothly and away from SRB, SRB shutdown. shutdown. And one, two, and three solids. One minute thirty. Vehicle is throttling up to one hundred percent thrust. Vehicle is currently at fourteen nautical miles in altitude, seventeen miles nautical miles downrange, and moving at a velocity of four thousand eighty-four feet per second. Quick look at the range track shows we're making good progress downrange. Just a few seconds away from SRB Jettison. And we have SRB Jettison. Shot Very good Jettison. Of the SRB Jettison. Spectacular view the from the onboard camera. Vehicle is able to alpha Q limit right on Canaveral back. in the distance. RD-180 has begun to throttle back to 95% thrust. RD-180 is responding as expected to this change in throttle setting. Three minutes, 10 seconds. Go ahead, Cape Wind. Current vehicle altitude is 37 and a half nautical miles. Downrange distance is 118 nautical miles. Velocity is 10,130 feet per second. The vehicle performance continues at, as planned. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus three minutes, 30 seconds into the flight. We're less than a minute away from the shutdown of the Atlas booster, booster engine cutoff, planned to occur at 4 minutes 27 seconds into the 20 flight. seconds until we begin to throttle the RD-180 to maintain 5G's acceleration. And we've begun to throttle to maintain 5G's acceleration on the booster. Boost phase cooldown's begun. Our L10 pump temperatures are responding as expected. The PHT data off of that for the post flight reconstructions. Okay, we can do that, no problem. We're going to throttle 4.6 Gs. We've got boost phase cooldown complete. And we have Bico. We have retro rockets and good stage separation. We have locks and fuel pre-start. We have the RCS purge firing. Our all ignition. And full thrust. Engine is up and running normally. This is Atlas Mission Control Data at all plus 4 minutes, 52 separation. seconds into the flight, and we've had a Atlas stage performance as expected. The solid rocket boosters performed yeah, as planned. Small attitude the Atlas booster performed as planned, and we've had payload fairing jettison as scheduled. So the flight continues, progressing. Is being this is Atlas Mission Control at all plus 5 minutes, 13 seconds, and counting.